शिशिधांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति बंदे गुरुपद द्वंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु बंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदवन मनोहर वांशा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु विवच पतितान पावन भैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति वाचाल पंगुंग हैतिगिरि यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव तो वै पिया वै केशव स्न भक्ति पदे देवी सत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्यतो तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीतात्म प्रणोतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुजीत किमी गोवधूषदर्शि पूर्णागर सुसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा कृपाम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद सिद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद सिद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादपंकज सुरासुरवंद दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधा भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुस्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस् भक्षसे यस्ते हृदय संबीत सिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण विष्णु हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे धर्म कैतव धर्म प्रज्जित कैतव तपरम निर्म सराम सतम वेद्यम वास्तव मात्र वस्तु शिवदम तपत्मील श्रीमद्भागवते महामुनि किंबापरेश्वर सद्यवरीदे कृतिवी सुषुभिस्तत्ना धर्म प्रज्जित कैतव अत्र परम निर्मा सराम सत्याम वेद्यम वास्तव मात्र वस्तु शिवदम तपत्मूल श्रीमद्भागवते महामुन किंबापरेश्वर शब्दिवरुद्धते कृतिवी सुषुभिस्तत्ना गौरियोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी भोपा परमंश जगदगुरु से दैट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हैव सोन हैज सोन आज द एब्सुल्यूट वे ऑफ भागवत धर्म एब्सुल्यूट वे हाउ टू एप्लाई भागवत धर्म इन आवर ओन लाइफ गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी भोपा परमंश जगदगुरु से दैन There was only single point, only one central point at the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All devotees, this central point, this pivoted point, all around they are moving. But at present, we are having all of us separate individual point of interest. Gauri Yoga Sri Bhakti Sri Sila Bhakti Sri Dhanu Saraswati Goswami Ji Prabhupada. परमंश जगदगुरु से श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज सीन हाज द एब्सुल्यूट वे हाउ टू एप्लाई भागवत धर्म इन आवर लाइफ देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ एनी सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट एनी अन्याभिलास नथिंग कैन बी देयर एट द टाइम ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु देर वन देर वॉज ओनली वन एंड सिंगल पॉइंट सेंटर पॉइंट and all around devotees are serving mahaprabhu and all around devotees at present we are developing all different kind of self interest so we are deviated from the track of siman mahaprabhu totally this way those who are having different different personal center point self center point surely they cannot prove that they are doing bhagavad dharma all different devotees from different corner of india bharat all devotees coming but somehow how they are harmonized in such a way there is no other no anyavilas nothing all they are only on one single desire to satisfy sri chaitanya mahaprabhu when there is single point center point and if all circle i can draw all different circle by keeping the center point same with compass you can play all countless circle you can draw but no circle can cut others but whenever your center point is a little bit deviated from the original center point then you can draw circle that circle can cut all other circle at present even after establishing society committee management committee everything legal procedure how to run the society all everything there but still we are completely failure legal format there all rules and regulation there managing committee meeting is also we are arranging everything what to do what not to do all we are discussing committee there everything committee formation society formation but still we are completely failure completely fail because all our center point 
different, different center point going to throw us outside. At the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there was no committee. They didn't think it necessary to make one committee, uh, man, one manager or secretary or president, they didn't think. They never thought it necessary, all automatically. How, nobody knows. No manager, no president, no secretary, no treasurer, nothing. But all harmony. This more spectacular point is a very important point. Very important. Lack of harmony is very dangerous. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Koriyate Hidayate Koriya Okko Arana Koriya Maniasa. Harmony is not a matter of joke. Externally, I can play one drama that I am completely in harmony with Guru Pātpāda. But in practical field, you cannot. And also, Gauranga sitting inside my heart, he can arrest me. Immediately, he can arrest me. You are a cheater. He can arrest me. So this way, now situation is very dangerous. The slok I started with is very important, second slok. I mean, just the second slok of Srimad Bhagavatam. Dharma pro ujjito koitava atro paramanirma saranam satam. Those were totally free of jealousy. No jealousy, even no smell of jealousy. Only and only they, they can apply Bhagavad Dharma in their own life. Bhagavad Dharma is not for all. Uh, not for all, no. I mean, basically it is for all. But we cannot apply. Bhagavad Dharma is the common Dharma which is for all jivas. It's okay. But anyway, we cannot apply it in our life. Bhagavad Dharma is... Those who are totally free of jealousy, completely no smell, only and only they can apply Bhagavad Dharma in their own life. That's why in Bhagavad glorification, also in Bhagavatam itself it is written. There is written Simad Bhag Simad Bhagavatam Jad Vaishnavanam, Simad Bhagavatam Purana Tilakam. Simad Bhagavatam Purana Tilakam Jad Vaishnavanam Dhanam. Simad Bhagavatam Purana Tilakam. I mean among all Puran is the Tilak topmost. Srimad Bhagavatam, it is written about Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam Purana Tilakam Yad Vaishnavanam Dhanam. It is the only treasure and property of those pure Vaishnavas. Though Bhagavad Dharma is basically is for all, all Jivas, infinity Jivas, they are have common Dharma. It's okay. But anyway, they cannot apply there. They cannot apply in their own life. Impossible for them. So, Srimad Bhagavat is the thil of topmost. It is the only property of Vaishnava, not for cheater, you know, cruel, not for them. But they, at present, that day I was speaking, no? Srila, Srila Baba speaking, the day from when all Mayavadis started getting entry into Vaishnava Dharma, from then onward, all problem creating. Basically, they are all Mayavadis. They are coming here to join Gauri, to get uh, love, puja, patista, orna, position, everything, glamour, everything. It is not their target. Srila Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Goswami Maharaj used to speak this way, by hammering hard. Nobody, one of you can speak that you like Bhagavan. Tittu Maharaj, open assembly, used to dim dim, hammer in the heart and speak. Any one of you can come and promise that you all want Bhagavan? You like Bhagavad Dharma? Some or other kind of disparity must be there. That we we'll have to make up. Otherwise, no use. I cannot cheat you all. Impossible. So, I was discussing in Hindi Katha and I promised them I can clarify this point it is written dharma prajitvaitra atro prajita mean 
very, very, very pure, absolute pure dharma, Bhagavad dharma. No contamination of any uh, Annavilas, Babishas, nothing. Kishal, like pure Kishal, pro ujito, dharma prajito, koitovo atto nirvasa. Totally koitov, any cheating propensity, all. In general, in general conception, with general conception, we know, dharma ortho kam mokho. Moksha is also not dharma ortho kam in general, or maximum mokho, moksha. They are demanding. Dharma means general dharma. They are not going to speak about Bhagavad Gita. General dharma, by the help of which you can go to heaven, this, that, enjoy your life this way. Dharma, ortho, money, or by, you, by applying your brain and energy, uh, what you are going to get, that is called ortho. Dharma ortho kam. After that, final target is to enjoy life. Final target of our life is to enjoy. Enjoy yourself. That is our life. Dharma ortho kam. That's why all demons, they usually teaching this. When Prahlad Maharaj was sent to Gurukul, when Prahlad Maharaj was sent to Gurukul, there he find that the teacher, I mean the Gurukul teacher, Asur, demon, Sandamurga, they are teaching this. Dharma, Artho, Kam, they are going to teach you politics, sociology, politics, economics, this they are teaching. Pulladma is seeking, what I can do? What I can do, all this kind of teaching is useless for me. I already learned everything while I was inside the womb of mother. So why not? But Pulladma Maharaj cannot fight with father or teacher. He is not accepting, they are teaching. He is teaching, but he is not accepting. He is learning all what he learned, he accepts. He, already got lesson from our Naraji Maharaj, this way. So dharma ortho kam, also I was discussing in Chaitanya Charitamrita, different kind of muktis, I was speaking, huh? Salokko mukti means you are uh, requesting Bhagavan to get the same loka, Man, where Bhagavan can stay, you can go there. Sarupo means just like what Bhagavan is forehand, leg, like very nice figure, you can get the same. Shasti means same appliances, what Bhagavan has. Follow. So, Salokko, Sarupo, Shasti, Salokko, Sajujo. Sajujo means Submerge in Bhagavan. She is asking if there is any prema in it. I say, first of all, you try to understand the sarupa prema. Sarupa prema means anavilasita sunyam jnana karmadi anabritam. But somebody out of his practice asking Bhagavan, you must give me the same place. Devotion means you will have to obey Bhagavan. You will have to seek the satisfaction of Bhagavan. Personally, you have noticed that. If you are going Salukko Mosti, Sarupko Mukti, Sajujya Mukti, this is not actually Prema. Salukko, you are going Salukko, okay. Salukko, same Loka. Maybe you are doing something, but Prema is an absolute thing. May must be doing something. Sajujya, uh, Salukko, Sarupko, Sasti, maybe doing something, but prema is very rare. This way impossible. And sajujyo, what sarbhumu vatajajyo want to mean, that is more and more dangerous. That is so dangerous that you like to, you like to break the relationship, eternal relationship, you like to break the eternal relationship with Bhagavan. Break relationship in the sense, Bhagavan is our eternal 
Prabhu and we are eternal servant. Right? We are eternal servant, Jive Sarupai Krishna Nitya, eternal identity. But if you like to submerge in Brahma, Sajuju, two types of Sajuju. Mayavadis usually they mean to submerge in impersonal Brahma effulgence. That is dangerous. One kind of suicidal squad, I was speaking just. So if you like to attain Brahma Sajujo, and you, you mean to say you are attaining Brahma, what enjoyment you can get? What enjoyment? It is my question. What enjoyment you can get? You can get any enjoyment? Many such cases happening. One rich man, his son, very rich, is going to get snack bite after taking brown sugar, after taking drug. Then there is very costly, all aquarium, aquarium, no? You don't know, hear me, hear me. There is a glass, glass, aquarium, aquarium. In aquarium, there is a very poisonous snack. There, that the, those those who are you know intoxicated, they like to go there, pay heavy amount, and there is one hole in the in the aquarium. They put that sand this way, put the tongue inside and snack bite. After that, they fall down. for one for fifteen days, twenty days. This is the ananda. Rich man, billions of dollars they have. They are having this kind of intoxication there. Now my question is, that, yes, you don't know this is. So this kind of, they, they are getting one kind of enjoyment. So if you are going to break the relationship, eternal relationship, can you break? It is unbreakable. Relationship with Bhagavan, eternal, Jiva is eternal. Bhagavata's many slokas are there. So anyway, you cannot break. You can deny. You can deny I have no relationship with you. But that you can deny forcefully. But eternally you have your relationship with Bhagavan. Bhagavan speaking, Mamai Vamsa Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhuto Sanatana. This way. So, Sarvamata Jajyo mean to say, attaining Brahma means you can submerge in Brahma and after that you can become Brahma. One drop, I am going to take this amount of water and going to throw in the ocean. If, if I say, now one drop of ocean, if I throw into ocean, ocean level is not increasing or decreasing. No question, so small amount. And the drop of ocean mixed with, mixed with, with the ocean water. But originally that water must be there, somehow mixing. Similarly, in a green bush, there is a very green, all green, all around. One green bird, one green bird flying and entering into the green bush. In that case, you cannot identify all water particles what I throw. It seems all mixed with. But surely that water I am giving, I cannot identify, but it must be there. Like, the, like one bird flying and entering into the green bush, all around green. If the green bush is sitting, you cannot identify. So, Brahma Sajujyo, they are getting, but Brahma, sit, Brahma speaking, Arujya Krishena Param Padam Tataha, Patati adho anadhita jusmat angrahiva. They can attain Brahma, Brahma path. After that, somehow, someday, they can fall down because they, they want to ignore. They want to ignore the eternal existence of the eternal existence of the lotus feet of Bhagavan. They deny the service of Bhagavan. They deny. They cannot. So this way, they are, going to, they are going to ignore, they are going to deny the eternal service of Bhagavan and eternal existence of Bhagavan. That's why again, 
Arujya Krishna Param, very, by strong effort, they are going to reach up to that point. After then, they can again fall down someday. Arujya Krishna Param Padam Tataha Patati Adho Anadrita Yusmat Angrayu. Small, teeny jeep can never become Brahma. But qualitatively, they are Brahma. No doubt in. Qualitatively, they are all Brahma, there is no doubt. But they cannot. They, Brahma is a Bibu Bostu, infinity. And Jiva is very infinitely small. This way, Sarvam Vatajajo always thinking the Jiva can become Brahma. And Mahaprabhu going to give some argument this way. How is possible? Tiny Jiva, if going to submerge in the Brahma effulgence, how he can become Brahma? It can become one part of that Brahma, qualitatively same. It's not possible, big, big fighting going on. Yesterday I was speaking, Gauna Chetna Atma Shabdham. Atma Shabdha can never be, can, Atma Shabdha is never decorated with material qualities. Atma Shabdha is never decorated with material qualities. Always decorated with transcendental qualities. So I already told that I am using this word which is going to specifically point out that aprakita vastu, then it is going to indicate the same thing. And that's why aprakita vastu kobhu prakita gochanai. Aprakita vastu, if you try to apply your brain, apply your energy, a manpower, you can never come out successful. That's why in Upanishad, it is clearly written, Yatu vacha nivartantya prapa manasasaho. Your personal effort, all futile effort, all your personal effort, by your personal effort, try to reach that absolute truth, but you can, you can get a feedback and come back, failure. You can get a feedback and come back failure. You can never come out successful. The Sarvamama is going to make mistake here. He likes to uh, explain different, different way. He is speaking that in Shetaswar Upanishad it is written. Shetaswar Upanishad is written. Apanipado, Apanipad. Bhagavan has no leg, no head, nothing. It is written in Upanishad. Or in Upanishad, it is within Hiran Mahina Patrena Sattva Sapahitam Mukham. It is written. The Brahma, it, here it is written on Brahma effulgence, a golden color effulgence. So why you say in Upanishad it is written, Hiran Mahina Patrena Sattva Sapahitam Mukham, that, that absolute truth is kept in a hidden form, in a golden pot, having big effulgence or all around. Hiran Mayin Patreno Sattaso Pahitam Mukham that absolute truth is kept secretly inside a pot, golden pot. What do you mean? Sarvamata Jajo fighting. Sarvamata Jajo not ready to believe that there is some absolute truth as eternal existence. Mahaprabhu repeatedly speaking if Bhagavan is devoid of power, devoid of formless, Sarvamama, who can take, uh, you know, initiative? Who can take care to serve that? No, actually this world, uh, actually Brahma, this, this world is totally Brahma. That's right. You are not wrong. It's Brahma. You are Brahmo, I am Brahmo, table, chair, all Brahmo, it's okay. Without Brahmo, there is no existence, and that's okay. But Brahmo is devoid of energy. Brahmo cannot have diversity or wrong. Like in Upanishad, I can give one example. Like in Upanishad, I can give you one example. Jagobalko, one Rishi. Who is, uh, you can find Jagavrudu 
giving so much Vedic, uh, you know, formula, Vedic, richa. He saw and he wanted to give us. Jajur Ved, Suklo Jajur Ved. Jagabal. Jagabal to, Jagabal ko already sent two of his son, two son. He sent to Gurukul to know, to realize what is called Brahma. After a long time, two boys coming back to father, father asking with blessing, you realize, you, you come out from there and Gurukul, yes, father everything. Then one day, Guru, one day Jagubalko, one, one day Jagubalko wanted to test. One day Jagubalko wanted to test each one of them, take test. Then the elder son, Jagavalko asking about my son, what is your direct, what is your direct relation uh, about uh, Brahma, what you have achieved? Then the elder son started passing lecture in front of father. Brahma is this, Brahma is that, big lecture. Passing lecture in front of father, Jagavalko, elder son. Speaking about Brahma is this, Brahma is that. Jagavalko became very angry. Stop it! Nonsense. Jagavalko could realize he is going to represent something which is not from his heart. You stop it. I understand. You realize Brahma. Okay. Then small boy, small boy, father asking my son, what do you... What you realize about, you have any direct realization about Brahma? Could you please speak anything to me so that I can understand? But the small son cannot speak anything. He is looking at father and looking at father out of shyness. He cannot speak. Then Jagavalko realized that actually he realized Brahma. That's why he cannot speak properly. When somebody can realize Brahma, what is Brahma, then he becomes speechless. Try to understand. When somebody can realize practically from heart, what is Brahma? By, realize, by realizing the greatness of Brahma, infinity, he becomes shocked. He cannot speak anything. He can only keep it. Then Jagavalko realized, you realize something about what is Brahma. Jagavalko asking somebody to bring some <coughs> Jagavalko asking somebody uh, Jagavalko asking his son some of uh, his son younger son to bring some salt and to bring one pot of water one pot of water there then Jagavalko you put all <coughs> you try to put all salt inside water Okay. After that, you make solution. Making solution. Making solution. After that, Jagavalko, you give me my salt back. It's not possible. Why not possible? Already in solution there. All intermolecular space. Intermolecular space, sodium, eh? already gone there. So I cannot get it out. This way, Jagavalko teaching them. That like you make the solution of salt and you cannot discover where is salt. Similarly, each and every dust particle everywhere, try to realize, each and every dust particle, where not? Everywhere Brahma is present. It's right. But that doesn't mean you cannot believe the eternal sarup of Bhagavan. That doesn't mean. That is great offense. In Chaitanya Jodhva, it is written, Bhagavad Vigraho, Bhagavad Vigraho, Bhagavad Sarup, those who are going to accept as a Mayavadi, not eternal. They are the topmost offender in this creation. Shuddha Vigraho Sarup, those who are going to accept as as a Mayavadi, Jaisana is not eternally present. Mahaprabhu speaking, it is topmost offense not to 
not to believe the eternal sarup of Bhagavan. So everywhere Brahma is there, table, chair, all, uh, item, everything. Like inside our body, if you uh, make some analytical research, all met metal in chemistry up to uranium, all metal, magnesium, sodium, uranium, plutonium, everything you can body to some extent. In our body, all there, all, everything to some extent. If there is shortage of sodium, you can feel problem. If there is if shortage of magnesium, you can feel problem. Yes. Big problem will be there. Iron is there. Everything there. Similarly, Brahmo is such a thing, just like the example I give the solution, it is true. But Brahma is everywhere. We are not present. That's why I told now, Bhagavan at a time simultaneously can take information of what is happening in the infinity world, Prakit and Prakit, wherever, what is it? All can happen. Because Bhagavan is present everywhere. That is the reason why, that is the reason for why, when Hirano Gosipa wanted to say, your Bhagavan is there in this pillar? Yes, is there. You speak. But yes, also here. Also he is there. Then provide a fist of fury, the pillar break down and is It is written there. Bhagavan wanted to prove that his devotee never speak lie. It is written in Bhagavatam. Satyam vidhatum nijavittu bhashitam vaptam cho. Bhagavan is everywhere. To prove it, Bhagavan came out from that place. It is not philosophy. It's practical. It is not dry philosophy. So, I told you that gauno shetna atma shabdham sarvam vata jajyo is mayavadi. I already told another slok I can discuss today. Anabriti shabdhyat, anabriti shabdhyat, two times, not one time. At the last of Vedanta total, complete finish, Vedanta total finish, after that it is written there, anabriti shabdhyat, anabriti shabdhyat, anabriti shabdhyat. You can remember one sloka I am speaking. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi matri jathare sayanam. I speak, no? Again and again recurring. Date and bar, date and bar, date and bar. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi matri jathare sayanam. Is a must. So to stop this recurring date and bar, if you like to stop the cycle of Tetan Bhat, you like to cut the system and go out, go out, then you will have to take the name of Hari now. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari, Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari. No other way. That is the advice in the last sloka. Anabriti sabdhyat, anabriti sabdhyat, two times, for the confirmation that there is, there is no other way, no other way except taking Harinam. Anabriti sabdhyat means if you go on repeating that Nam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare, this way you can break all the system and go out of this system, material system. Wow. Anabriti Sabda. That is the reason. So, I told Namo Sankirtanam Yasu Sarva Papa Pranasanam Pranama Duksha Samanam Tang Namami Harim Pram. Also, Sukhdev Goswami told another slok when Parikit Maya wanted to ask, what is the, what is the absolute bhajan? Different Rishi Muni, different Acharyas. Oh, you do this way. But you please speak. What is the sadhan? What is the absolute sadhan by the help of which minimum effort and maximum output? I mean absolute output. People usually busy. They can put minimum money and get return maximum money. Hey, yes, they are total. 
money making technology, money making, money making technology, they are learning. Oh, money making, how to make money? <laughs> they are learning this, to go to hell forever. That is their system. And yes, money making technology. In Bangalore here, they are giving training how to make money. You have little amount, how to make, how to become billions of dollars. <laughs> this way. Technology, money making technology. So anyway, so somehow, if you are ready, if you have 100% faith in a Bhagavad Nam, then you are happy. So Parikhid Maharaj wanted to put this question, that life is only for two days. Could you please speak such a procedure of bhajan? Maximum benefit, absolute benefit. Then Parikhid Maharaj asking this question. Atho prichami sangsiddhim yoginam param gurum. Atho, atho prichami sangsiddhim yoginam param gurum purusha seha yat karyam mriyamanasya sabha. Here also starting with atho. Athato Brahma Jigya Sai Cholna. Here also starting with atho. My mean, after realizing this world. Now I am young. And day after tomorrow I can get old. After that I can. Balahari, Haribol, Ram Nam, Satya Hai. You can go. This is life. Many, most of the people, they are unable to face the absolute truth. It is fact. Most of the people, out of 100%, they are not ready to face the naked truth, absolute truth. They don't like. They are in some sort of intoxication. They don't like it. Ah, useless. <laughs> but it is absolute truth. Most of the people, they cannot face with the Absolute Truth. Maybe in the name of Absolute Truth, they are going to grab or embrace some wrong thing. Absolute Truth. Even in the name of Absolute Truth, they are feeling some allergy. In allergy, no? In the name of Absolute Truth, they are feeling allergy. allergy. Better not to speak, like ghosts. If you say Jai Sri Ram, ghost become very angry. Ah! Ghost. Ram Nam cannot be here. Yes. If you speak in front of ghost, Ram, Ram, I become very angry. You can't start breaking everything. Don't speak Ram. <laughs> Big problem. So, it's a, it's a fact. In the name of absolute truth, they are going to sacrifice their life Unnecessarily. Even they are ready to throw for, for their, their biasness is so strong that for this biasness, false ego, even they are going to throw away absolute truth. I don't like to hear for this to maintain their false ego. Yeah. This is the condition. So, Brahma is everywhere, that's not bad. But Brahma has some eternal existence, also we will have to realize. Bhagavan already confirmed in Gita, Bhagavad, everywhere. I have my, though I am here, but still I have some separate sarup also. Achinta Bheda Bheda Eternal, simultaneously, I am here, not here. Like Chatusraki Bhagavad, you remember? Bhagavan speaking, I am everywhere. I am everywhere, all ports and courts. But still, I am separate from me. Bhagavan speaking. I am a separate sarup. Also, I have, I am everywhere, introduced everywhere. But Mayavadi, they don't believe. They say, Brahma is undergoing some deformation. Mayavadi speaking, Brahma surely undergoing some deformation. Follow. Brahma, Brahma deformation, some milk or something, some fruit, something can get deformed. Man is spoiled. Deformation means one word is spoiled. Deformation, what do you mean by deformation? 
Hey, Brahma be uh, undergoing Brahma undergoing some deformation after this material world. Acha, Brahma undergoing deformation. Hey? So useless Brahma. Brahma undergoing deformation. Brahma is formless. Brahma is devoid. So who Sarvabhama? Who can? Who fool is there? Who can try to worship that Brahma? So you don't understand this basic point. In Brahma Sangita, it is written. In Brahma Sangita, it is written clearly. Yad Brahma niskala mananta masesha bhutam. Yad Brahma niskala mananta masesha bhutam. Govinda Madhi Purusham tamam bhaja. We are going to pray pranam under the lotus feet of that Govinda, who is the personified Brahma. And his body falls taking the form of impersonal Brahma. Brahma Jyoti. Jyotir Abhyantare Yang Shyam Sundar Maj. Different slokas there. Jyotir Abhyantare, if you penetrate that Brahma Ifalvans, your eyes have to go, then you can say Parsunamite Brahma is there. Jyotir Abhyantare. This is the one. So, Sarvam Bhattaji, you will know. Actually, uh, this whole world, Brahma actually Brahma and Brahma Brahma actually undergoing deformation after this world is created. Mahaprabhu speaking, why? Brahma is stainless, Brahma is flawless. Deformation means surely Brahma has some fault, some corruption that he corrupted. But it is written. That Brahma is niskalanko, stainless. No Brahma is an undergoing deformation. That's what this word. Mahaprabhu speaking, why Brahma need, why Brahma need to undergo deformation? Why? Whereas in this material world, even in this material world, we can find some such excellent thing which can give you complete idea. That Brahma can never undergo deformation. Clear idea? How? Mahaprabhu why not you are a wise man? Why you are not thinking? That if there is touchstone, you heard the name of touchstone? Never heard. Scientists also they believe. Scientists believe. If there is some special stone, if I, if I touch with iron, then the intermolecular structure of iron can get converted into gold Intermolecular structure. Practically seen, Sanatana Goswami, God, I told in Harikatha, I am not going to speak again. Sanatana Goswami, God, yes, that touchstone, but it is useless for him. That's why he wanted to put inside Jamuna Mart. But it's true. 60, 70, 80, I cannot remember. One sadhu, Going to some one place, one to, from one place to another, he has a chapel. Summer season, very hot, with chapel. Usually in Parikrama, you cannot use chapel, prohibited. But with chapel, the chapel is broken chapel with a nail. With nail, he picks up and uses a chapel. When he come to the place, I mean, when he reaching the destination, he is putting his chapel. Some sadhu watching, hey, what is there inside your chapel? Some glittering, some, what can be there? You go there and watch, something is there in the chapel. He is going to take up the chapel, watch, the hold the nail by the help of which you want to fix the, it was torn. You know. He converted into gold. He cannot remember, he is walking, somehow his leg is going to touch the touch stone. Still today, still today, touch stone is available in Vrindavan. But everybody cannot see. Nobody. It is not the desire of Bhagavan. King Batsa, he is the Batsa of Delhi. He is the king of Delhi. He wanted to get that stone. When he heard one man was given this touch stone by Sanatana Gosai, 
and he wanted to throw into Jamuna water. Because the man wanted to, because man was very poor, he wanted to arrange, he wanted to arrange the marriage of his daughter. And Kashibisha, I am going to cut short discussion. Kashibisha, you go to Sanadan, he is very rich man. He is coming. He said, why you are coming to me? Well, I come to you to get some property because my, I cannot arrange the marriage of my daughter. Property? What property? I have no property. Kashi Vishwana told. Kashi Vishwana told that you have great property, big property. It cannot so happen. I have no property. Ah, I had property before. Now I am poor. I have only coping. Not any cloth. But Kashi Vishwana speaking, surely he cannot speak like, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Oh, one touch stone I got long ago that is kept inside mud like a stool and urine. So, uh, maybe it is, it can come to your use, uh, let me search. He's going to search, cavity, and find that. You take it. I don't want stone. I want uh, some money. It is a stone. If you touch with an iron, you can find it. That, how it can, you try. Then he's going to touch gold, become. A uh, touch iron, convert it. Even in our Shastra, it is written that we can convert some iron piece or something can be converted into, into gold. It is written. I can show you. Jatha Kanchanatam Jati Rasayan, the one slok is there. By chemical reaction, Automatically, you can convert this iron into gold. Of course, our scientists they also agree because all radioactive element from higher position they degrade and come down. Uranium can come down to next position. It is already proved. Atomic structure can change because they are radiating alpha, beta, gamma always, and in course of that, uh, nu nuclear structure can change. It is every possibility there. But at present, we have no direct document. But we know 100% is true. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Amar Mahaprabhu giving this example to, to that, to that uh, Sarvam Vartajaju. Sarvam Vartajaju, in this material world, in this material world, we know it for sure that one touchstone if you touch with iron, it can be converted into gold. But the touchstone remain intact without undergoing any reaction. Follow? Suppose this is touchstone. I am touching with iron. And this touchstone is going to convert that iron piece into gold. But that touchstone remain intact without undergoing any change. Mahaprabhu is going to quote this example. Sarvabhu, you are so wise, you know. So why in material world, in material world, we find such example. Even in material world finds this kind of example, that one touchstone can convert iron into gold, and that stone itself remains intact without undergoing any reaction. So whereas, why Brahma, the absolute object, need undergo some? Why? Is Brahma? Come on, is Brahma? If one material stone can convert, have some power to change uh, iron into gold, so why Brahma? Uh, Hundred percent, uh, you know, it is necessary for Brahma to undergo some, some undergo some reaction or deformation to take this form of this material world, then Sarvamo become leg leg. Sarvamo become upset. Really so? Really so? From the material world, if this kind of example is, we can see, really so, why Brahma need undergo some reaction? Mahaprabhu said, no, your conception is wrong. Brahma, 
Yad Brahma Niskala Manantama Sesha Bhutam. Brahma can never undergo any reaction. Bhagavat, Brahma can never undergo any reaction. It cannot so happen. But then why? How? Then Mahaprabhu speaking, the Shakti, external energy, Bhagavan is decorated with two basic energy, Chit Shakti, I told you, you forget. Chit Shakti, Jeep Shakti or Maya Shakti. Mahaprabhu speaking, that external potency, Bahiranga Shakti, it is get, it is going to get deformation, uh, undergo deformation, and then taking the form of this world. Follow. Shakti. This world is a transformation of Shakti of Bhagavan. Same thing I am saying told. Shakti can be converted to mass, mass can be converted into Shakti, energy. So same thing. We also, in our childhood, already, already, we already gone through physics and chemistry. Energy can never be destroyed. Only you can change one energy to another. Electrical energy can be converted to mechanical energy. Mechanical energy can be converted into this way. You are applying in the winter season. That means you are using mechanical energy. Heat going to develop and you are feeling comfortable in winter season. In the winter season you are doing this. Ah, so cold. Then mechanical energy converted into heat energy. So, it is basic, basic formula. Energy can never be destroyed. Only one, one, from one energy you can convert, can be converted into other energy. In this whole universe, in this whole universe, infinite universe, if you calculate the amount of energy, what was there before the creation, the same energy is there. Same energy there, only converted. At the time of creation, what energy was there, and now also same, only changed. Constant theory of energy, constant. whole universe, same. So, Mahaprabhu speaking, you see, Shakti taking the form. Then Sarvam Bhattacharya thinking it is very problem, because Except Brahma, try to understand the ghost, where is the ghost? <laughs> try to understand, locate the position where ghost is entering. Sarva what is your thinking? Well, as per the advice of uh, Prabhu, if I accept one Tattva Shakti separate, then Adhyagan Tattva can, well, I cannot establish Adhyagan Tattva. Sarva thinking, as per the advice of Mahaprabhu, if I am going to accept the Shakti Tattva, one separate, then Adhyagan Tattva, because we believe there is no dual conception, so whatever they are all Brahma, even no Shakti, no Shakti. Then Mahaprabhu, no, Mayabadi speaking, there is no Shakti, there is no Shakti, only Brahma, only Brahma, all around, all around Brahma, you Brahma, him, everything Brahma. All, everything boom. But Mahaprabhu speaking, the transformation of the energy, Bahiranga Shakti of Bhagavan, taking the form of Brahma. It is supporting, this Siddhanta is supported by Bhagavatam, Vishnu Puran. This Siddhanta is supported by Bhagavatam uh, and, you know, Vishnu Puran, all everywhere. Even in Upanishad, everywhere. Badanti tat tat tavidam statyam yad jnana madhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti sabdat. Sarvamo now, uh, sweat coming out of his body, is thinking how to establish. <laughs> I thought he is a young boy, he knows nothing, he knows nothing. I can teach him, but he is going to teach me at present. Sarvamo upset. After that, it is written in Upanishad, Apani Padan, Bhagavan has no hand, leg, everything. It is written in Upanishad. Mahaprabhu speaking, well, 
it is written in Upanishad. But why not you think that Bhagavan having his transcendental sarva, or prakriti sarva, not material hand and leg. No, no, it is clearly written. No hand and leg is with Brahma. It is clearly written. Mahapus, you try to go again. What is written? Opani path. Brahma, no hand and Oh, oh, next line you try to read. Apani padam javano grihitva eh? pashati o chakshu srinati akarno. Uh, then why not you completely you try to reconcile? First of all, you think there is no hand and leg. Second, thinking he is running very fast and accepting everything. Give, give, give. He is speaking. And hearing everything, no ear. Watching everything, no eyes. So what do you mean? Then Sarvabhama became upset. Really so? No eyes watching, no ear hearing, no hand accepting, no leg running. Sarvabhama, what is Jo? Upset. Mahaprabhu saying, why not you try to consider this point? First of all, you try to a neutral point. You are, your, your mind, your heart is biased. Why not you come to a neutral point and try to understand? So first of all, it is no leg, no head, okay. After that, what is it? Running fast. If there is no leg, well, how running? No hand, give, give, give. Capsetting. So, Sarvamu, try to understand. The meaning is that, surely Bhagavan has hand, leg, everything. But, aprakita, transcendent. Not like you and me. Bhagavan is himself Bhagavan, but see, not like you and me. <laughs> Mama, Bhagavan is going to count himself. Like, like Sanatan, like Sanatan Goswami Bhad, when Ma, he wanted to learn one slok explanation 18 times, 18 times, 18 times with Sarvam Bhattacharya. That slok Sanatan Goswami wanted to hear from Prabhu, Prabhu, uh, you explain that sloka. Could you please express this here? I also. Actually, you are mad, I am mad. What I told, I cannot remember. I forget everything. Let me, let me remember. In your, you are pure devotee. In your association, let me remember what I told. After that, Mahaprabhu told 62 different kind of things. When Tom speaking, this meaning, this meaning, this meaning. Oh my God. 18 different kind of explanation done by Mahaprabhu. Tomorrow I can discuss this point. Not to be all confusion at a time. So, 18 different kind of explanation done by Mahaprabhu about the sloka. And Sarvam Vartajajo was given the first opportunity. Sarvam Vartajajo, Sarvam Vartajajo was given the first opportunity. The first, first you can explain. How far, how much you can, you have, you are great Pandit, let me see. How far, he is going to explain. After that, he is going to stop. Oh, up to this point your explanation is finished. Huh? Huh? You cannot do uh, the 18 different kind. Hey, uh, uh, up to some point, nine. Nine or eight, some. After that, Mahapu started uh, explaining. After that, 18 different kind of explanation done of the slope. After that, Sarvam got has gone mad. Sarvam Vataja is totally gone mad. He is thinking he is not a normal man. Now he is coming to the conclusion. <laughs> Now he is coming to the conclusion, nobody there, no second figure in the whole world who can defeat me. There is no second figure who can defeat me. But now he is speaking 18, not touching even one explanation done by me. All I, all I explain, Mahaprabhu is going to throw it out. Mahaprabhu newly speaking, 18 different kind of explanation. Newly, not touching even one single bichar shown by Sarvamvartaja. Then Sarvamvartaja, Sarvamvartaja, uh, 
could realize is not a normal man. Something must be there. Otherwise, this kind of... This is not possible. Finally, after Mahaprabhu giving example, 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 all example, all his effort, all his Pandita come to an end. All his argument, all his effort, all coming to an end. Now he has nothing to say. He becomes puzzled. After that, finally what happened? Mahaprabhu wanted to show him his own saru. Mahaprabhu manifest in front of him that you look who am I. You try to look who am I. After that, when Sarabhuj Murti, all same, he is Ram, he is Krishna, he is Gauranga. Immediately he fall down on the ground, unconscious. Totally unconscious. He cannot be here. He is watching Bhagavan. He is watching Ramchandra with bow and arrow. He is watching Krishna. He is watching same Dondo and Kamandul. That deity is inside their Jagannath Mandir. That deity is there, inside Jagannath Mandir. Still today, they are worshipping that deity. Six and One is Ram, and one is Krishna, one is Gaura. This way. <coughs> After that, Sarva Mataji could not bear, fall down on ground, fell unconscious. After that, Mahaprabhu going to touch the body. Mahaprabhu going to touch, Mahaprabhu going to touch the body of Sarva Mataji. Sarva Bhumo, Sarva Bhumo, what happened to you? What happened to you? After touching, I'm touching, he's getting up, shedding tears, continuously tears, watching and Prabhu and cannot speak anything. Speechless. After that, by the mercy of Bhagavan, he could realize the actual sarup of Gauranga and started speaking like wind, like the case of Duva Maharaj. Duva Maharaj doing astutian finances there. Still today that place is there. Those who are doing 84 Parikram, Vrindavan, Churasa. Madhuban. Madhuban, there is one hill top there Dubba Maharaj used to do long ago. Long ago. After that, Bhagavan become upset. But he is a small boy, four or five years, doing so in jungle forest. Narod immediately go. Because I cannot directly go now. Without Guru, I cannot appear in front of you. It is the rules. Without Guru, how I can go? So you immediately go and do keep her to him. So that by the mercy, your mercy I can appear. I cannot be here. The small boy doing so much astute and penance. Finally, what happened? Naroji running by the order of Bhagavan, coming in front of Dhruva Mara. Hey, Dhruva, you are a small boy. You go to home. No, I cannot go to home. I like to... Why? You can... Bhavo. There's tiger, python, tiger, lion. There, can eat you up. Or let them eat. I, I cannot go. He is not fearing. Naraji Maharaj, first of all, wanted to show some cause. He go away. No, I cannot go. Finally, Naraji Maharaj was bound to give mantra to him. You go and take bath in Jamuna. Because that time, Jamuna stream was... Jamuna had many streams, one stream from there. Go and take bath there, I can give mantra too. Then he was giving mantra, and after that he started doing actual bhajan. Previous days were astute and penance, no. Then Narajima speaking, well, you do bhajan, I am going. After that, Dhruva calling, Rishivar, you please you. Uh, pay attention to my request. You already told this mantra. So I am chanting. So how I know uh, Bhagavan? Who is Bhagavan? I don't know. I have never seen. So how I can uh, imagine inside heart? 
how I can try to concentrate, how I can try to concentrate, then Narajima speaking, well, you can go on thinking this way. Bhagavan is looking like this, like lotus feet, lotus-like petal, lotus petal-like eyes, all sankha chakra club, wheel, everything in hand. This way Bhagavan can, you can see Bhagavan inside your heart. If you go on chanting sincerely, very shortly you can take darshan of Bhagavan. Naraji promised. So, what my point is that, a small boy, when Bhagavan appeared, Bhagavan already appeared, then he is not going to open the eyes because he is watching Bhagavan inside. Dhruva Maharaj watching Bhagavan inside. So, he is not opening. The so Bhagavan saying, I already come here, he is not opening eyes. Then Bhagavan purposely disappeared from heart. When Bhagavan disappeared from heart, Dhruva Maharaj opened. What happens? What problem? Then see, while I was watching inside heart, he appeared. Then he prostrated Dandavad immediately and grabs a leg, lotus feet, everything, started crying. But he cannot speak anything. A small boy, no? Small boy. Sufficiently no education there. Then Bhagavan doing one thing, Bhagavan taking the conch, conch, panchajanna sankha, and touching in his cheek. Touching. After they started speaking like wind. Only Bhagavan taking the conch and touching in his kopal. Kopal means chick. When you to touch it. Then he started speaking like wind. Similarly, our our Sarvomatachajo, when get back his consciousness looking at Bhagavan, because for bonded soul it is impossible to bear the power of Bhagavan. When Bhagavan appears, bonded soul usually go faint. They cannot take that much power. Very limited capacity, bonded soul. So usually, whenever Bhagavan coming, they usually all devotees. Are they cannot be here. They cannot be here. Even Mahaprabhu manifesting this kind of Leela. He himself is Krishna. I can come to this point anyway. So you see, Sarvamavatajajyo started, Sarvamavatajajyo started speaking sloka like wind. Not writing. Immediately. Like wind he is speaking all sloka. Hundred sloka. In front of Mahaprabhu. After watching the Sarupa Mahaprabhu, he started reciting Bhagavan. He mentally he is making and speaking, making and speaking. Hundreds of slokas, like wind. Hundreds of slokas. Out of that, what I am speaking is really Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sarira Dhari Kipam Budhir Yastha Maham Prapadde This is the first look. I already printed 12, 14 years back and distributed among devotees. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Now Sarvamoto Jajwa realized that my Bhairagya was Avidya. Avidya, Maya. My detachment was nothing, one kind of exhibition of Maya. What is the utility of this Bhairag? So now Sarva Mortajaju confess Bhairagya Vidya. What is called actual Bhairagya, positive Bhairagya. Yukta Bhairagya. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga. To teach us what is called secret Bhakti Yoga. To give that same Supreme Lord. He appeared in front of me today. Bhairagya Vidya. Nija Bhakti Yoga Sikshartha Mekam Purusha Purano He is the eternal presence Sarup above. He appeared in front of us to teach us what is called actual Sarup of Bhakti. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Sikshartha Mekam Purusha Purano Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sarir Dhari Kipam Budhir Jastamahan Prabhu He is the infinity ocean of mercy. Now I Today, all my biasness gone, I am going to catch the lotus feet of that Prabhu. You excuse me. So long I was thinking, 
you are a, a young boy, nice looking, and knowing nothing, how you can maintain Vairagya? Now I come to the point, you are saying. From then onward, Sarvam Vatajajo was converted into a great devotee. Sarvam Vatajajo was converted into a great devotee, all oh, big devotee. And now lamenting and shedding tears, speaking, Prabhu, my heart was like thunderbolt, not even iron. My heart was like thunderbolt. How you melt my heart, how you melt my heart like butter, you know, this way. Sarvamvatajajo lamenting and crying. I can never leave you anymore, infinity of you. Now, if I go on explaining, you can think that that Sarvamvatajajo, that same Sarvamvatajajo, that same Sarvamvatajajo, today cannot bear separation from Bhagavan for fraction of second. Cannot bear. He is crying, I cannot allow. Prabhu speaking, allow me, I like to go to, uh, you know, South India. After that he told, I like to go to North India, but he cannot. I cannot allow. I cannot bear your separation. So you see what is called actually bhakti. Tomorrow I can explain something or enter into main leela of Gauranga Mahapu. So today we'll have to stop here. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sarir Dhari Kipam Budhir Yasta Maham Prapadde Vanchakal Padrushi Kipasana Patitanam Pavanam Babishnar Pyo Namo